can breathing exercises beat surgery for sleep apnea, which is a crazy concept to me because surgeries are big things, right? Like moving your jaw forward or like coring out your throat like an apple. But the research tells a very interesting story. So here's a paper on one of the most common surgeries for sleep apnea. It's known as a UPP. I'm not going to try to pronounce that. And basically what they find here is that when you do surgery, it will have about a 32% reduction. Uh, and that's like an 8% cure rate. Uh, not, not too great for how difficult that can be on the body. Now, if we look at some breathing exercises here from this study, we will see that when we look at people who had inspiratory muscle training, uh, this is their AHI before and after. So like round 53, to 17, that's a massive reduction. And then when you look at how many people went down by a class of sleep apnea, like from severe to moderate or moderate to mild, up to 60% in some groups here and about 20% in others. Now, here's the thing. Number one, always talk to your doctor before making any changes. Number two, everyone has a very individual response. Some people may need surgery. Some people may be fine doing other things. There's no generalized statement. There's no one size fits all. Now, if you're interested in breathing exercises, very important to have that personalized as well. You can get a personalized blueprint by clicking the button here or uh, clicking the shop button down here or going to the website that's over my face. Just go ahead and type that into your web browser.